Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have understood about the DOM and all those things, right? So before writing the DOM methods, before using the DOM methods and accessing the DOM, first of all, you need to understand what HTML is. So you need to understand your HTML file. So how the HTML and all those things works. So you have understood <coughs> the things. The starting point you need to understand is that you need to understand about the HTML. So the things what I want to tell you is first of all, so the DOM. So whatever the DOM we are trying to see it, right? So the DOM is often referred to as the DOM is often referred to as DOM tree. So we often refer this one as we call it as a DOM tree. So normally the people will call it as a DOM tree. So this is the important thing you need to understand. So the tree contains this tree, the tree contains <clears throat> contains thousands of objects okay thousands of objects so these are called as an objects and these are called as nodes called as nodes so these are the branches what i can say is so these are called as nodes so that is one thing so you need to understand so dom tree you can literally think that one as a tree so how the tree you will be having so the trunk you are whatever the tree you are having is it the trunk is often referred to as a dom and the branches and all those things we can call it as a node so this is one thing so we'll discuss about these nodes and all those things in the coming videos but keep it aside so the dom is often referred to as a dom tree and the tree contains thousands of objects called as nodes so for example let's say that so here we are having the dom right so the dom extends into a Tree that is nothing but HTML node. In return, HTML node will contain two things that is nothing but head node and also the body node. Okay, in this body node, you will have again H1 node, I, IMG node. So these are called as a node. So node is nothing but an object. So that is one thing literally you remember. So we'll discuss about these nodes and all those things in the upcoming videos. So that is one thing what I want to tell you is. So the literally we'll call it as a nodes and node is nothing but an object. Okay. So this is how that HTML is divided into a DOM tree. So now in order to implement these all DOM accessing methods and all those things, I will try to write a sample HTML file so that using this HTML, we will try to do it. So before writing HTML file and all those things, I want to give you an overview of this HTML tag. So how this HTML element looks like this. So in our previous course, like HTML course, I have already explained you how the element will look like and what are the parts of an element I have already explained you. So if you want to know more about this one means, so you can go to my code and you can check it. So now what I want to explain you is this. <clears throat> so let's say that we are having an H1 tag. Okay. ID is equal to let's say heading. Let's write it here in this one. And here. So document object model, so I am writing in this one document object model. So these are the things we are writing it right. So here H1 is the tag. Okay, H1 refers to the tag. So here whatever the things we are using it right opening tag and the close tag. So these refers to the tag. And next we are having ID right. So ID here ID refers to the attribute. So ID refers to an attribute. So this is ID is called as an attribute. And the value heading, whatever the heading we are having. So this one is called as an attribute value. So this is an attribute value. <clears throat> and the text, what you are trying to see this right document object model. So this one is called as an text HTML text. So this is the, so this is called as a DOM text or anything. So you can say it, whatever the thing. So DOM text or otherwise text, it's not DOM text. We'll call it as a text only. So the entire thing, so the everything, whatever you are trying to say, this all everything is called as an element. Okay, HTML element or H1 element. So here you are having a text. So now normally it is a text node also, text. So this is an anatomy of the HTML. So we have already discussed in this one in our HTML course. So if you want to learn more about this HTML means you can go back to my HTML course. So this is an overview of the HTML tag. So let's try to design our HTML. So before continuing into this one, so let's try to design our HTML thing. So here I am writing, I am taking the template HTML 
and here i am will be writing so this one is accessing the dom okay so let's see here so nothing is there in the body i am writing h1 i can take id is equal to main oh, sorry so here i will be writing accessing the dom elements so just i will be writing the h1 so let's see the output here so here we are able to see the output and the first one i will try to write h2 so here i can write <coughs> using the id selector so using the id selector so for this one i will try to do div id is equal to header so this is first section so access the element using get element by id so this is the method so we need to access it by this one so if you want you can keep it in the strong so you can access this one we can keep it in the strong so this one is first one if you see the output here we are able to see this one so the second one what i want to do is the second one is h2 the second section using the class okay using the class selector it's not a selector actually so just i am trying right so here i can take one div class is equal to header i am taking the same thing so both are different this one axis the element using strong element we will try to take it get elements by class name so these are the two things so two elements so these elements we are trying to access it. so now if i see the output so these are the two things so the another one is we will be having h2 using the tag name sorry using the tag name and here i will try to use the p tag access the paragraph using so let's take the strong element using get elements by tag name so here also i'll try to use so if i see the output so here this tag name and let's go to the another one uh, tag names is finished h2 so using the query okay query selector and here i will take one div so this one i will give id is equal to query id is equal to query access the element using strong i will give query selector this one is one thing and let's move on to the another one last one so h2 using the query selector all so here i can use due class oh sorry due class is equal to query all or anything the class name access the elements using strong query selector all by using this method and here i will use the same thing so these are all the things what yeah so these are all the different DOM. so i have i have written the html so these are the different types of html i am trying to use it now let's try to do so, do some design so we already have a knowledge on about the css and all those things let's do some design so i am using the style so html the html i am converting uh, i am changing the font size so font size is sans serif i will use the sorry no font not font size it's a font family right i want to use the sans serif yes, yes correct now what i will do is html is completed body i will try to take the body and the max width i can take it as a 500 pixel or anything and the margin i want to make it as a center so these are the things what i have taken yeah fine so these are somewhat okay right now what i will try to do is i will try to give some boxes for these all the things so div element and also the paragraph element so div comma paragraph element i want to give padding of 1 em okay and the margin i want to give 1 em and also zero so left right i don't want it and i will give border of one pixel solid so hash a1 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 something like this let's see the output how it will look like 
yes so this is how we are looking so we have written a simple css so in order to look these all things now we need to access these all the elements using the dom access methods we'll try to use it so hope you understood about this html and all those things if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you